XPG, the gaming brand behind Adata, has been hitting the PC gaming peripheral market quite hard lately. They've positioned themselves to be the cheaper alternative brand on the market, the budget peripheral if you will, which still performs when gamers need them most. Now today we're taking a look at the XPG Alpha gaming mouse, which offers some very competitive features in the gaming mouse space. Inside the box is very minimal indeed. Now you get the mouse itself, of course, a USB Type-C cable for charging the mouse and a small USB wireless dongle, which can live in the base of the mouse if you're not using it. It's a nice way to not really lose it if you're going to be traveling around with the mouse. And there's also some paperwork too, if that's your thing. The mouse itself is rather large, which does suit me down to a T as I do tend to use a palm grip when gaming. Now you've got your left and right mouse click, a scroll wheel, a DPI button on top between the main clicks and two side buttons by your right thumb. There is also a plate where you can rest your thumb when not using it so it doesn't scrape your desk or mouse mat. RGB is a little understated here but it also means it's not super bright and garish and really in your face. Either side of the scroll wheel lights up as well as the XPG logo. The mouse uses Omron switches so you've got some decent quality behind the buttons and they do offer a very light and satisfying click. Now what was great about the Alpha was the fact that the dongle provided was able to pick up a decent signal when it was plugged in around the back of my desktop. Now I do have my PC on my desk that you can see in that corner there which of course is beneficial but it does save me having to use a front USB port for the wireless dongle. I now just plug in the provided USB Type-C cable to the front every time I need to charge the mouse. However, I would have liked to have seen XPG provide some kind of solution so you didn't have to take up two USB ports at once if your dongle is around the back of your PC. Now I've seen brands in the past combat this by having some kind of USB extension cable. The Logitech 502X which we've just reviewed as an example does this. So you can hot swap your dongle and Type-C cable on the fly and still have the mouse work while using your desktop or better still some kind of docking station for your mouse though if that's the case retail pricing would probably begin to just significantly rise. The mouse is covered on top in a soft to touch plastic which offers a decent level of grip though I must say it was a bit of a fingerprint magnet after a while and a long period of time could see marks appear though this is not fully confirmed. After a single game of Farthest Frontier, the new city building game that's making waves on Steam early access right now, saw a fingerprint appear. Now down the sides is a rubbery material to aid with grip when whipping the mouse back and forth and it is triangle pattern. On the bottom you can find three very soft feet to aid with gliding which did a great job and felt very smooth on a mouse mat and a Pixar PAW3335 sensor capable of up to 16,000 DPI. Though why anyone would have the DPI that high is beyond me. There is also a toggle switch to change between the wireless dongle and Bluetooth 5.1 so if your PC or laptop supports Bluetooth then you've got the option to use that instead of wasting a USB port on a dongle and a door to store away your dongle when not in use. The XPG Prime software needed to change the mouse settings is rather basic but is incredibly laid out and simple to use. The software offers you the chance to change your RGB effects whether it does color cycle or breathing effects or reactive that kind of thing but it also gives you the chance to to change your DPI levels at each increment, your polling rate, your lift off distance and angle snapping as well. You can even record your own macros too if you're into that sort of thing or play the types of games where macros could work really well. There's not really much more to say here about it though. It's simple and effective and offers some levels of customization. Now one thing and I know it's relatively small, but I would have liked to have seen the ability to set different colors or effects depending on which DPI setting I was using. There's no cue as to which you have set unless you give the mouse a quick shake to test sensitivity. And during gaming sessions, especially if you're quickly switching between guns, let's say, and lining up targets, it can be a bit problematic. Yes, the physical DPI button changes color when you click it to signify a change in DPI, but my finger is covering it and lifting on and off just adds time to changing my DPI, especially if you're under fire in a game for example. Now it was shown on the XPG Prime software that there was a firmware update that needed to be completed. However, what I thought was going to be a relatively easy process ended up turning into an absolute dumpster fire of a process and one which resulted in no new firmware being installed. So I've just jumped onto the XPG Alpha software just to give you a demonstration of the update firmware issues that I've been having. Of course, I'm recording my screen for you all to see. If you click the update firmware, new version of XPG Alpha wireless mouse firmware is available. Do you want to update? Please note that both firmware of the mouse and USB dongle must be updated before us. Click yes. 
download the mouse mouse firmware your mouse firmware has been completely downloaded would you like to update it now yes i would opens up this windows system 32 thing okay so important before use both mouse device and usb dongle have to be updated if you haven't done so please follow the instructions below to update the usb dongle firmware remove both usb cable and usb dongle so i've got the dongle in the back of the pc i'm going to go and remove that now there is the dongle sorry if it's not very much in focus there is the dongle so please only replug the dongle to check firmware version and there you go you can see the mouse moving it automatically kicks into this please wait uh remove both usb cable done that please only replug the dongle to check the firmware version start the update process if needed i'm still on version 1.0.31 check for updates and it's just going to run through the same thing again and again and again just the same kind of loop it doesn't actually update anything so i just don't understand how complicated it could be to upload a mouse firmware and uh dongle and whatever else needs updating it was just awful but really for the most part i must say that my gaming experience with the xpg alpha was pleasant though i did have an issue when fast tracking was involved playing city builders or rts titles like two point campus or age of empires 4 it was absolutely fine with no issues at all and moving the mouse around the map or game screen was a very smooth experience and i didn't experience any misclicks either however moving on to faster paced fps games like hell let loose or hunt showdown where quick flicks can be the difference between getting a kill or dying i noticed that every now and then fast movements of the mouse just weren't lining up with how much i was moving on the screen it was like my mouse was moving faster than i was rotating it was a rarity though but it did happen enough for me i suppose to mention it in my review it also did this very very strange thing as well which was difficult to replicate but it kept flicking so far around like if i was just running around in a game of hunt showdown one moment i'd be looking in front of me and the next the mouse would just glitch out and i'd be looking off into some random direction it just used to do this really weird glitchy thing and getting it back under control after wasn't really the best either it was overall though a very comfortable experience when playing games and in terms of how the mouse felt the larger size makes it very easy to grip and although this is by no means the lightest gaming mouse on the market coming in at 3.4 grams i found it to be good enough to get me through the xpg alpha gaming mouse is definitely priced competitively at the lower end of the market if you're after a new wireless gaming mouse and don't mind a chunky and heavier mouse then i'd definitely recommend the xpg alpha for its sensor and smooth feeling when gliding across the mouse mat but those glitches in movement when using it wireless for me just were not good enough so maybe wait for them to sort that out first if you want to you can use the xpg alpha as a wired gaming mouse and trust me you'll be far better off for it. Thank you very much for checking out my video review of the XPG Alpha wireless gaming mouse. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos, and also let us know in the comments down below if the XPG Alpha is the mouse that you're looking for, or would you wait for the wireless issues to be sorted first before purchasing something like this. As I said, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.